more just thinking, well, if I buy property, in a few years' time, you make money and sell it, pay off my own mortgage.、Um, that would be fantastic.、Um, I didn't, didn't think about it. So once you pay off the mortgage, what are you going to do next? I also did not think about the the, the crazy the passive income, and I not, did not think about that.、Uh, um, there's 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 big、um, big things we can do if I reach the financial freedom.、Um, I would just think, well, if I pay for my mortgage and have a stable job, that's it. That's that, that's a beautiful that's a beautiful life. But actually, it's not. It's lots of things we can do、um, besides that. This is Property Investory, where we talk to successful property investors to find out more about their stories, mindset, and strategies. I'm Tyrone Shum, and in this episode, we'll continue the conversation with director and mortgage broker of Real Way Finance, Eric Wu, who set out on his property journey and built up a five million dollar portfolio. We'll find out the strategy he used to achieve this, and what you can do to manage your risk profile as you work towards your goals. The initial setback for Wu in starting his property journey was fear, and that his goals weren't big enough. First of all, is、well, I just would use a real example. So when bought the black tie and and a、um, Marion property,、um, some friend told me, you, "What are you doing? You 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 buying a dump in in a very bad area, and you just look just just wasting money." So at some point, I really doubt myself. I was, I was thinking, did I do the right thing, or, or, or am I just just wasting my time and money?、Um, Uh, luckily, I, I didn't quit. I just, just hold on to it.、Um, so when I look back,、um, it, it's it's um it's it's a fear and a lack of knowledge、um, that's created the, the the uncertainty and the self doubt.、Um, the, the fear is I don't really know what I'm doing right because as a starter, as a young investor, or as a naive young investor, I don't really know whether this project will grow or not,、um, whether it's a good investment or not. Because、uh, at that time, point time, people buying us somewhere else. They they、um, they said they 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 they're doing really well, but I'm not I'm really sure.、Um, and also the the, the goal is not big enough. Because I at that time I couldn't see a big picture, bigger big picture, a big goal. I was thinking buying one or two is big enough. Because I definitely would create and create some money.、Um, yeah, but it didn't didn't go hard enough. So what is his bigger picture for the future now? At about back that time, I was just thinking, well, if I buy property in a few years' time, you make money and sell it, pay off my own mortgage,、um, that would be fantastic. Okay.、Um, I didn't didn't think about it. So once you pay off the mortgage, what are you going to do next? I also did not think about the 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 crazy the passive income, and I not did not think about that.、Um, there's 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 big um big things we can do if I reach the financial freedom. Um, I would just think, well, if I pay for my mortgage and have a stable job, that's it. That's that, that's a beautiful that's a beautiful life. But actually, it's not. It's lots of things we can do、um, besides that. Purchasing between New South Wales and Southern Queensland, Wu has accumulated nine properties worth a considerable asset base. Um, I think it's very close, or maybe a little bit exceed five million overall. The, the pure rental、uh, compared with the pure interest repayment, it's it's、um, positive. But if we consider all the ongoing costs, like the、um, maintenance, the the management fee, the insurance, it, it it's it's neutral. It, it's kind of a, a comfort stage. I can walk away from from the whole portfolio. It's just look after itself. The purpose of building his portfolio, as with many property investors, is to attain wealth through generating passive income for his family. I think the primary goal for us、um, is to create wealth.、Um, it's, it's, it's not only for me; it's actually for the family as well.、Um, my plan is just hold hold on to it as as long as I can,、um, and I also just expand the portfolio.、Um, once it comes to a certain certain size, I might um, um, sell part of it and I reduce the reduce the debt. Since the beginning of his journey, Wu's mindset has changed dramatically. I think it's it started from from reading the books on、uh, the online forums, talk to the、um, fellow investors, and、uh, with my men- mentor as well.、Uh, previously, my, my my mortgage broker, now my mentor.、Um, it, it it's it to do、um, it's lots to do with with seeing the, the big picture, setting up big goal,、um, big goal, and seeing what others can do and what they have achieved. Um, now I'm thinking. Well, if you can achieve more, why settle for less? 
just give yourself a challenge. You never, never give up. His mentor and mortgage broker, Rolf Latham, director of ASAP Financial Services, helped condition his mindset as well. I think that there are two two sides. Um, first of all, he helped me with the, with the finance side of the property investing. The other thing I would say, say more important is, is about your self development. Um, it, it's he helped. Uh, he not only me. He helped lo- lots of other people. It's he help us to see um, what you actually potentially can achieve, um, and also uh, show us um, what other people have achieved. In terms of resources, we sought out personal development books by authors like Jeff Olson, Charles Duhigg, and David Schwartz. Oh, I would think that the books is very important. Um, I will categorize that, that into three, um, three, three different categories: the books. Um, and also the um, the the, the um, uh, podcast and, and some magazines as well. Um, with books, it can be the the, the hard copy books and audio books. Um, and uh, look, I, I listen to lots of books. Uh, the, my favorite one would be the um, the Slight Edge, the Power of Habit, the the Magic of Thinking Big. This is good. This has been interesting. Um, seeing you when I look back, it's when we started. When we started property investing, the first of few, um, the, the technical side is more is, is quite important. Uh, it's like where do research? How do you cash flow analysis? How do you um, um, how do you um, uh, find a property? But once you hit a certain level, like three or four, even more, it comes to the point of um, um, you you need you need to open yourself up. You need to see a big goal. You need to do some self development. Um, you you need to change your mindset for to go a bit further. When considering the right team to have around him on his journey, he enlisted the help of a property manager and several other professionals. However, he regrets not hiring a buyer's agent. Because when we look at the Brisbane purchase, one of them, I'm thinking, um, at that time, there was a bit of a um, time where I had lots of, uh, lots of uh, stress because my son was born. I just don't have much time to do research. So, so I, I would think it's a little bit of rush by. Um, I didn't make any mistake, but I wanna, you know, why, if, if I have used it as an agent, it will give me much, much more um, 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 choice, options to look at different areas. The best advice Wu has ever received is to continue to think bigger and grow bigger, but be cautious of potential risks. Well, with, with going bigger, <clears throat> it's not just um, um, irrationally just buy, buy, buy. And there's lots of um, lots of things behind it. It's actually how do you um, make sure you buy the right property? How do you reduce the risk? How do you choose the area? And also how do you manage the cash flow? How do you um, um, foresee the, the, some some risks? How do you um, manage the risks? That's, that, that's quite important as well. Also, go bigger. It's kind of one you, you have to um, have all the risk and medication strategy in place, then move ahead, go bigger, not just, but just keep buying. Coming up after the break, we'll delve into the nuts and bolts of Wu's property investing strategy. Um, buy, renovate, and hold. That's some of the buy and the hold. Um, I choose the area with, with very good uh, fundamentals. It's like public transport, schools, hospitals, shops. His goals for his portfolio in the future. The long term, the actual real wealth is created by your holding long term. You go through a few property cycles. And that's next. I'm Tyron Shum, and you're listening to Property Investory. Hey podcast listeners, I just wanted to let you know about the podcast show notes I've created for you that you can download at freepropertyresource.com. Inside these show notes, I've included a full summary, details of the resources recommended plus much, much more. Just go to freepropertyresource.com to grab it now. It's free and it'll make the rest of the episode so much more impactful. Again, that's freepropertyresource.com. Now, back to the show. With nine properties currently in his portfolio diversified throughout New South Wales, Wu shares the strategy he has used to achieve this. I would consider myself a very, very conservative investor. Um, uh, I I buy the property, um, buy, renovate and hold, some of the buy and hold. Um, I choose the area with, with very good uh, fundamentals. It's like public transport, schools, hospitals, shops. Um, it, this, this kind of property um, 
you you, you tend to have less um, less risk of uh, leaving vacant for a long period of time, um, and it tends to be an um, um, area people want to live in. Um, so they create some kind of uh, create a certain level of, um, of competition. By focusing on investing in mid-range areas where people are more likely to live, he found a property in Western Sydney. The research principle is, 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 is very simple. It, it's kind of a, when, you, when you look at it, um, you have all the, all the um, uh, essential services in place. Let, let, I'll give you an example. When I bought the, the, um, the Marion property, Blacktown property, when I look at the, the train station there, and also have a very big shopping center, the schools there as well, and also the, also the, um, uh, the hospitals. I was thinking it's only 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 need need to run about fifteen minutes of walk um, from um, from house to the big shopping center, and also the train station next, is next to it. The schools are only ten minutes of walk. I was thinking with this kind of property, the population keep growing. I don't think this this kind of property value would drop. Finding a bread and butter property to renovate was Wu's goal, which he did, and then applied to his other properties in Blacktown, Hornsby, and a townfield in Marsfield, where he obtained the same principles. Uh, must we have run about sixty percent? I think this four years time, closer to the to the to the, to, the um, um, to to jobs, close the train station, close the university, uh, close to to the shops, uh, not far from hospital. Um, yeah, but when I look at what, so when I look at what I bought in Sydney, is all all these these fundamentals. Oh, I want to change the suburbs, just reduce the risk. So, what is the vision for his portfolio now? With the current portfolio, I would think um, just hold on to the long term. Um, I, I think when you we, we look at it, when you look at long term, the actual real wealth is created by you holding long term. You go through a few property cycles, um, and that, that's where it generates real wealth and, and money. It's not a um, buy, run away, and sell. And you can you can have a quick profit, but it's not a, not a real wealth, I would think. So what what I'm gonna do next? It's pretty much go my business to a certain level, and also we're looking at uh, some small development, um, and also um, uh, the entry level commercial property as well. Uh, I'm thinking like um, the shop front, um, uh, so small coffee shops, um, and, uh, and maybe news agencies, and uh, some of the um, um, small um, uh, small street shop uh, street shops. Residential property is really really good too to grow the initial um, asset base. It's, it's very good. But it comes to the point when, when the maintenance and ongoing stuff just, just, just come to the point you think that this is, you need to diverse into different asset, um, asset class. Um, it, well, it's still, still property, but different different category. With the commercials, um, they're the, the pretty much less headache. The tenants pay, pay all the ongoings. And you rent, the, the rental yield is, is quite high, so it can, can, um, can get generate some cash flow, instant cash flow. Um, yeah, you, you still need, um, you need um, uh, positive cash flow to sustain your existing portfolio and it make it bigger. It's, it's, it's a combination. In, In Wu's experience, he has developed some valuable personal habits which have contributed to his success. I think look, um, I think there's one thing very important is just keep an open mind, um, um, just take on, or just explore new ideas, listen to people what they say, and uh, do your own research, and also set a high goal for yourself. Now, Wu is most excited about helping others reach their own goals through applying specific strategies for them. The, the exciting thing is um, I, can, um, I can help my client to repeat what I have done and I let them see the big picture like, like what I did a few years ago. Like, that's more exciting. Helping people achieve what they want to do is very nice and I'm helping them to see a big picture and re- realize that it's something they can do but they have not seen it yet. If you wish to connect with Wu, learn more about his strategy or find out about his mortgage services, you can reach out to him via his website. Look, um, I have a website. Um, it's called Real Wave Finance. It's R E A L W A Y F I N A N C dot com dot A U. Or if you if you if you use Google, you can you can search Eric Wu um, plus um, property investors. You 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 will find me there. I'm 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 quite easy to find. Thank you to Eric Wu, our guest on this episode of Property Invest Story. If you want to hear more about his journey, then visit our website at propertyinveststory.com. Simply type in the search bar Eric Wu and select that episode to learn more about his story. 
Also, if you haven't subscribed to receive your free property case studies that I only send out exclusively via email, you can text me your email address to 0499881040 to subscribe. These real case studies are from experienced property investors where they share specific numbers of their portfolio, the strategies and much more. Simply text me your email address to 0499881040 to get your free case studies. Thanks for listening.